Hello. I think it's about 12 noon. And welcome to the Celebrant Salon. Hi, Millie. Hi, Poppy. Can you wave or put a thumb up if you can hear me, please? Hi, Jack. Nice to see you all joining. If someone, yeah, Millie or Poppy, could you just let me know that you can hear me? That would be so par. So we're here today to Jack and Greg. Brilliant. Millie, you can hear Poppy, you can hear Brilliant. So we're here today to chat to Jack and Greg. There they are. Like Hello. <laughs> they just appeared like magic. That was brilliant. <laughs> How are you both? Good. How are you? Good. Feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rona's just joined. Oh, Rona. Hi, Rona. Oh, yeah, hello, Rona. That Rona you met. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. so yeah. yeah, but you met on your photo shoot, which we'll talk a bit about later. So thanks for joining me today with a cup of coffee or lunch. And um, it's great to see you both. Yeah. So we, I thought today would be really good to focus on, I suppose, postponing You've had to postpone your wedding date twice, haven't you? Yes. So I was kind of thinking that we could have a look at um, the processes, the decision making, et cetera, around that, how it felt to you. Um, maybe sh just share a little bit about that. But then also look at the kind of fun things that you've done too. You've done some really nice fun things in we the have. interim. We have. Yes. You know, you had your um, not wedding celebration. Yes. You had your a, a photo, amazing blessing photo shoot. That was um, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there's a few things that you've done that I feel has has really kind of, I don't know, given you a little bit of energy and a bit of fun around this whole situation. Yeah. Um, one of the other things I find I've found really interesting about talking to the two of you is that um, you've both been so supportive of your suppliers. Well, you have no. to. You, you have to. Yeah, and and I think it'd be really good to explore that a little. Bit. Hi, Senya. Sorry, <laughs> just saw Senya join as well. So does that does that sound okay? If we kind of yeah. work through that, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. So, first of all, I just wanted to kind of paint a picture and just go back because I think you got aged. Was it Christmas or New Year? Twenty Christmas Eve. What? Christmas Eve. We got engaged. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Christmas Eve. You got engaged. So twenty nineteen. Yeah. When no one was thinking anything about a pandemic, etc. Really. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. And. Um, I think I met up with you in regard to becoming your celebrant, and we even went to your venue, Jack. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. We, went, we had a visit to the venue, and um, we just started really planning the ceremony or planning what we were going to be doing. Oh, Poppy's saying it was Christmas Day that you got in. Oh, well, it was midnight. <laughs> it's midnight. <laughs> yes. You yeah. keep us right, Poppy. You keep us right. So. So you you booked your venue, you had your suppliers organised, really, yes. and um, then, you know, when did you start to realise that this was going to have to change, that this was all going to have to to move? Well, the well, first it was pretty early on because I mean, even before the lockdown, even before everything started in March, there was an issue with this COVID anyway initially. Yes. So. We started to worry pretty early on, like February time, and then March was a lockdown, and then it, yeah. it was just a case of communicating with Dr. Bells, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. They, they've been absolutely amazing. Yeah. Honestly, shout out to Jay, because Brilliant. she's been fantastic. She's on maternity. She was going on maternity leave just as we kind of started. That's there. right, but, yeah, yeah. But she... She's the one that's been consistent. Even on her maternity leave, she's been contacting us. She's been so good. Really and has, has, has that really helped you, do you feel, with the well, supplier, it's helped, your venue reaching out to you? you yeah, know? it's helped us stick with them because, I, I mean, I, I'm personally an advocate of, of um, using local businesses, um, not, not just because of the pandemic, but just anyway. And um, the fact that they've kept in touch, because I can be 
I can be pretty harsh, to be honest. I can say, right, if you don't get it right, I'm dropping you, give me my money back. But they've been brilliant. Dr. Mm -hmm. Bells can do nothing but praise them, to be honest. And That's because true. of the way they've communicated with us, we, we, however long it takes, they're getting the business. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. That's great. And I, as I said earlier, that's something I've, you know, it struck me about the Corey, conversations we've had. And Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about the conversations we've had, you know, that's been really strong. It's, it's not just about what you two want, which is obviously really important, but it's about working with your suppliers as well. It's like a collaboration, you know, you're working together. So that's that's been very obvious. So so yeah. So the first date came, or you know, you knew that you were going to have to move dates. You planned a different date. And what about when your um, wedding day, when the day approached that you were meant to initially be getting married? How? What did you well, do then? Did the, you separate? Did you? Yeah, the first one. <laughs> the, the the June, the one that we were meant to do last. June we did we still had hope and we, the, there still wasn't this the second postponement was the real sort of yeah, and yeah, the yeah. realization that nothing's going to be the same for such a long time now yeah. but the first one we still had hope and we celebrated the kids made a massive yeah, effort they, did, they really went out and we sell it we had a nearly wedding day and I wore my wedding dress <sighs> I wore jeans. <laughs> <laughs> and it was lovely. And friends were doing that. Dis One of our friends walked for miles and had a distance drink outside, miles away from us. Lovely. So there was a, that was a really nice day. Yeah, it was a we nice day. We had a day. really nice, a day. nice day. And we still had all this hope and excitement of what we could still do. Yes. So the first one was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dr. Bell sent a beautiful bottle of Prosecco and this nice gold bottle. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, really kind. Oh, uh, so they recognise that. Yeah. And I think what you're, you're saying, Jack, though, is right, that if you remember back to even when we went into lockdown in March, there was this sense of, well, it might just be a month or a few weeks, you know, that it, we really didn't get to grips with yeah. the impact it was going to have. Mm -hmm. So I think you're right. There was that feeling of, of hope, maybe similar to the feeling we're having now because yes. of the vaccine and we're yes. we're coming out of it. But I, I I know what you mean there. Yeah. So you had a, a great celebration. That's really nice to hear. So because the day, it, you know, everyone's going to feel different about how their not wedding day feels. So that's really nice. Yeah, to hear. ours was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed really it. Enjoyed got the kids. It. Kids made a massive effort. It was the kids that made the huge effort for us. Oh, shout yeah. out to the, your children mm -hmm. then. <laughs> the the um, second postponement in March wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. We, so, we did yeah. nothing and we felt quite despondent. Um, yeah. yeah. Everything. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. We, I mean, we, we know, you know, eventually it's going to happen, but it sort of all sunk in that we just don't know where we are at the moment. All, all we know really is, it, you know, it's going to happen. We're going to stick with the people who have stuck with us and been good, i.e. Uh, Dr. Bells. Um, and, but, I mean, it wasn't bad. We didn't do anything. We didn't it market. Wasn't, it wasn't okay. bad. It I don't wasn't. think we know. <laughs> no, no, really. It just you, it, it think, came and went. I think you've pro. yeah, you probably, do you feel like you've spent or had to spend a bit longer with the second postponement kind of exploring options because of course we know now we're going to probably be moving forward with restrictions i think that's much clearer now than probably last year the second one made me think okay what's important what do we really what do we really really want and it's the kids yeah. and yeah. obviously we're a massive family a big blended family of children uh, and as long as we can have them, we are happy now to do it with them. Okay. And change so, our plans completely from what we were going at. And, and we have to be more realistic now. We have to, I mean, like, like Jack just said, it's all about the family. It's not about having this big function that we were going to have and 
having all these people there. It's the, it's the actual act itself for us and the family, rather than us, the family, and loads of other people yes. that we get yeah. party out of this. Yeah, so it's kind of, I suppose to a certain extent, COVID-19 is kind of defining things for all of us in different yeah. ways. But in regard to what you see as, as it really important on your wedding day, it's almost kind of forcing us to look at that and yeah. to yeah. kind of explore that a bit. Or, and everyone, of course, makes decisions in a different way. Everyone will do different risk assessments as well. You know, we're yeah. all individuals. Um, in regard to the decision-making process, have you always both been on the same wavelength, do you feel? Pretty much. I like Jack sort of. No, I've heard, do you know, I've heard Greg speaking to the to, to Dr. Bells just recently. We've got a new girl who's been great, uh, Bena or Bina, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Yeah, B-E-N-A, Bena, Bina. And um, I've not really voiced any of these opinions, but Greg just knows, and I could hear him saying, no, no, I don't want that for Jack. And I think, mm -hmm. oh, I didn't even say that. And he knows. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. I mean, that maybe shows you have spent a lot of time, actually, you know, obviously over the last year or so, talking. The only thing, know. there was one thing that we kind of, Greg and the whole family were saying, because they've just moved into this new house, it's got a nice garden, that we could do it in the garden. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing we've not been in agreement for. And the only reason I didn't want to do it is because I knew that I would be left with all the cleaning. <laughs> But we've got people in. See, she, she won't explore that. We've got a nice big house, big garden, and she won't explore that. And I said, look, all we do is we employ a company, local yes. company, to come in and clean up after us. It's as simple yes. as that. No cleaning it's, for no I, one. I understand that option, but Jack would still probably want to go around and make sure it was up to her standards. And yeah. afterwards, I don't think it would be clean to my standard. I just, I don't think I would enjoy it so much. I think to go to Dr. Bell's and you put yeah. yourself in their hands and they take care of the day for you yeah. and you just need to turn up and enjoy Perfect. it. That's Perfect. what I want to yeah. do. Yeah, exactly. Or wherever it is you're going to do it. But I just yeah. don't feel that having it in my own house, I would feel... That's about the only thing we've kind of... Okay. So at the end of the day, that was never coming into it because we were always going to support Dr. Bells and regardless, because I always said, I, I've paid... Look, I've only got to pay like a, a couple of hundred pounds now. Um, so I even said, I'm going to lose that money. So regardless, whatever, Dr. Bells wouldn't have lost out because I don't think it's their fault. It's not our fault. I just thought it'd be another option um, rather than lay well, out so yes. much money again because yeah, I, 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 I resigned myself to the fact that that money was gone I would yes. never pursue to get that money back because I know it's not their fault it's not our fault and I wouldn't like to affect a local business yes. because of this because it's no one's fault so it was just another, another option to look at but now we've moved forward a wee bit we may be able to get something not as big as what Jack wanted originally, but we might be able to get yes. something. Yes, definitely. And some people might make the decision to to have a smaller wedding or ceremony in the garden or in the house and then use their venue for a, a larger event yeah. later on. So the venue still, you know, you're still supporting the venue. You're still doing it. It just really depends. Every, as I said, everyone's so different. But it's good to know that there's lots of options you know, for people. And, and I think what's important, like you've done, is talk to your suppliers. Keep yeah. communication going. You're not sitting at home kind of wondering what if, what if, what if, and not knowing anything. You're constantly, you know, keeping that conversation going, which is really important. Mm -hmm. And so, so you had the lovely not wedding day or nearly wedding day celebration. And then what about this photo shoot that you oh. went to that looked amazing? That yeah, was really amazing. Good. What fun that must have been. That, and I tell you, if, we, if it wasn't for Dr. Bells, I would definitely go Do down that yeah, route. Definitely. Because... Something we never thought of, but no. after, after doing it, yeah. So this so, was like an elopement. I, was yeah, it, an elopement it was idea? Ella, Ella May elopements. Mm -hmm. um, and I, actually, Angie, it was you that kind of put me in touch yeah, with her. They, they were looking... She was looking for a couple. She was looking yes. for models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we put ourselves forward as these golden oldie models. 
Yeah. And himself. we got a lovely, we went up to Torridon, the Torridon Hotel, how yeah. stunning. Honestly, it was the amazing. The grounds, everything. And the great thing, what one of the great things, the girls were lovely. There was the four. Who were they? You need to. You yeah, need to well, it was Emma words. May elopements. She was there, and then Elizabeth from Bothy Blooms. And I can't tell you how amazing. Everybody since I've come home, I've talked about these flowers. And if she <laughs> lived in Edinburgh, she would be inundated. Fortunes. All the hairdressers <laughs> in Edinburgh are just like we found a florist. Oh my goodness! Who well, so was Bella? Bella. Um, um, there was Becky from Bell Arts Photography, and she's actually just given us photographs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Oh, how exciting! And what, it's like living it all over again. Well, that is so lovely. You're also that is just with brilliant. Mona. Rona, Rona the humanist. Oh, yeah, yeah, Rona. She was. She was, really was good, so, so when we arrived, she just. Because Greg walked into the room and it was all oh, good. Really? <laughs> but Rona really made us welcome. Yeah, she was nice. They were all nice. They were all nice. The dress was from Bella Nudes. And oh my God, that dress. Uh, it was beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. wonderful. Um, and that was up at the Torrid. And there was Kelly's, something Kelly's Kitchens from the food, yeah, which yeah. was lovely. Oh, was that, honestly, if you were going to do that just the, uh, as a couple, I would recommend oh, it. That was a vintage one. There that's was another wonderful one. to hear. If, 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 if any of the people are out there that remember, it's vintage something or other. Oh, she provided all the... Oh, the hire, yeah. The yeah, that's it. That's yes. the one. Yeah, because yes. you can't leave anyone out. Because it was I'll maybe, um, I can maybe tag everyone. Yeah, yeah if you could, yeah. Share. And Freya's um, just saying the photos were amazing. I think oh, Freya. she saw some of them on Instagram. And stuff. They were absolutely beautiful. And actually a girl, one, someone just messaged me yesterday on Instagram saying, uh, it was after your posts. And she said, I love this photo. Like, she that just, is so lovely. So That's I, great. Yeah, and I just, I just with, feel yeah. for you, for you two, it was just such a special day at a time where, you know, that kind yeah. of thing just couldn't really happen or you know Andrea Felix as well he paid for an accommodation up there it was a little log cabin off the main house yeah with a log burner and uh, the views outside stunning. and we just sat in those two nights didn't, and didn't had want to go out. We, <laughs> wine we went and to the cheese lake. we went to the lock and then we had wine cheese and stuff like oh, that a couple like, of bottles of wine a little kind of nearly honeymoon type yeah, of story. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> and I'll tell you though, the girls, uh, Ella and, and Becky and Elizabeth and Rona, they made that day. Yeah. They all pulled together, they all had to do their own things because obviously Rona's a celebrant and yeah. Becky's a photographer, Elizabeth's a florist, Ella organises the yeah, yeah. They all pulled together and all helped. And, and, and you couldn't go wrong if you, if, you, if you did a combination of of the girls, you definitely couldn't go wrong. I mean, That's yeah. And yeah. what what I what I loved about it, Greg, was that you got an opportunity to try out some rituals. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which we had talked about, and we weren't sure, and but now you've had this kind of it's like a little trial run to a certain extent. You yeah, know, pretty much. And and you you quite enjoyed those, so See, I I'm, think not, I'm not against all that. I mean the. There's certain things that I'm pretty old fashioned on, but I'm I'm not against something like that. That that didn't bother me. It's just I, I couldn't even say what would bother me, but there's certain things that you know I'm sure I wouldn't like. But yeah, I, I yeah. seriously didn't mind that. It was nice, it was authentic. <laughs> Lovely. So, and and I, I I I pretty much like stuff like that. But uh, and, and the whiskey. That, that's the kind of thing we can work on for your ceremony in October. That, that yeah. background, the Torridon Hotel, the background the, and doing mm. the tying, the... Yes, know, the hand, um, hand yeah. thing, the knotting, yeah. I know, it's so beautiful. So it's if, if anyone wants to yeah. have a look at um, Bella Art Photography and LMA Elopements and you'll find these amazing, amazing images as well and you've won another couple <laughs> shoot which <laughs> yes it has been postponed and i've just spoken to the photographer this oh. morning he had a wee boy so oh. the day we were doing the photo shoot his wife went into labor so that was a nice thing i and love it i love it had a little boy called COVID leo covid19 or babies <laughs> that's brilliant oh that's brilliant so overall i mean these kind of things I feel have, have brought a bit of fun and 
And is there any other things that you've, to a certain extent, because of, I mean, it's, it's not just about weddings as well. Obviously, there's, you know, there's a lot of difficulties for all of us in different ways, different aspects of our lives. But um, is there any other things that, you, that you've been using to kind of sell, like self-care, I'm thinking, you know, things looking after each other, but looking well, after yourself as well? Millie was just saying, because I was saying to her, oh, I can't remember, oh, get my cake stand. This is for the Easter table. And she said, why have you suddenly, every cell, I made a big deal for Valentine's. And yes. We had a, the... the I mean, I'm not talking a big party. It's our family. It's just that we're a big family. Yes, of course. Felix's 21st, which he missed. Um, and we've I've taken to decorating the house for different themes and just making the most of occasions now because... Pretty much. Yeah. Because we can't go out. You know, it's, no. we can't go out. It's, I mean, even for meeting with you today, I dusted... <laughs> <laughs> just tidied my room and to welcome you in. <laughs> and I was like... I just thought there's that kind of need to do these things now. It's about, you know, it kind of missing it to a certain extent, aren't we? We're missing it, yeah. So making, so, making a big fuss of anything, Mother's Day, Easter, yes, Valentine's, yeah, everything yeah. that comes around. Because that's what I was going to ask you as well is about like, tit, you know, tips. If you've got any kind of tips for other couples who are, you know, in this time of pondering what you know what do we want to have on our wedding day what decisions do we have to make you know is there any sort of kind of tips that you I, can I would, I, I, the, the thing i would say is don't be afraid to lower your expectations look if the thing the, the most important thing is that you're together you're going to get married do that and, and like we we said again going back to dr bells we actually said we thought, you know, okay, so even by the time we have booked again, um, it might not be right. So we've had to lower our expectations. We've told them that, you know, there's a couple of options where we could just have a ceremony, uh, a glass of fizz, then go home. So someone opened the door for us, get married, go home, on the understanding that we would have a function as soon as all this is over. We'll have a big party. Yeah. Just, just... I, <sighs> You've got to curb your expectations. If it's if it's getting married that you want to do, get married. You don't have to have, you know, hundreds of people there and then arrange something afterwards when everything's... I don't think it'll ever be over and done with. We'll never get right. But lower your expectations. The most important thing is to actually get married and then have something afterwards. Then celebrate that, that you're, you're married afterwards. Be it a year later... Be yeah. two years later. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, what I'd say is be, um, um, look, at, look at the venue you, you're going to. If they can't help you, if they can't give you what you specifically want, just remember it's not their fault. Mm, that's really good. That's great advice. That's really important. And I think at the moment, you know, both of you work in sectors that have been really impacted by um, the pandemic and lockdowns. Yeah. So you'll have an understanding of what people are going through. Exactly. And I think the the um, hospitality and the wedding suppliers industries feel very, very forgotten and neglected. And of course, a lot of these businesses are run, they're small, small businesses, yeah. maybe female, a lot of them are female yeah. led. And I think there's been a real lack of support from the government, etc. But it's wonderful to hear couples like you, you know, pushing that forward, saying, you know, remember, you know, it's a collaboration to a certain extent, and 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 um, thinking about how you can possibly support your suppliers as mm -hmm. well. And I know many many couples are doing that in diff different ways, so that's really good to hear. Um, I was just going to ask as well. There was another question I was going to ask actually about. Um, the res restriction wise you know i mean what are i mean obviously october we don't know what it's going to no, no. to be and you know have you considered things like yes you may be it may be that you can have 50 people there but they have to wear masks and be physically distanced you know have you kind of looked at all these little layers and nuances well, 
life around it. We're kind of thinking and really hoping that we can at least have 20. We don't even yes. need as many as 20. As long as we, I can have my six on my side and Greg can have his six, yes. we'll be happy to do that. Okay. Small yes. and intimate, we're happy with. If, yes. however, we can have more, we will. But that does come as a challenge because how do you... I say to friends, save this date, it might happen, it might not. <laughs> save that date, it might happen, it might not. I don't, you might be able to come, you might, how do you do that? I was just actually speaking, I don't know if she's here, Caitlin, who's getting married with yourself mm -hmm. in August. And I was saying, how do you arrange this? How do you send out the invite? Do you send right. out to the people that you think are going to come? And then if suddenly the numbers change, do you suddenly send out another whole... Yes, yeah. And don't order stationery or anything with <laughs> dates on. We've got loads of dates with yeah, 27th of June. That's a good June. tip, actually. Yeah, do, yeah. do not order things with actual dates on. Don't yeah. order any. If you're going to get um, invitations, if you're going to get placards, if you're going to get place, um, set, place settings, don't put dates on. <laughs> yeah. Don't that's put nothing. Fun. Put yeah. names or just... We are getting married, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You don't have to put a date or anything because yeah. it will save you a lot of money. Or wait till you actually, a couple of weeks before. But yeah. then that's another challenge as well because you need to give people time. Do. But and don't put do, dates yeah. on it. That's right. And how do you find the suppliers that are available to do that at last minute? Or and then people need to know, and, and, and it's a friend of Millie's who's going to be doing the cake for us. And we don't know... Do we do just a simple cake because it might just be the family? Or what if suddenly you're allowed more people? The small, yes. simple cake isn't going to be big enough for the more people. It's a, but she yeah. needs notification to do this. Please, I, I suppose that. it's finding about how much how much notification do people need. Yeah. So they, they'll be able to let you know, I need to know in advance. I need to know a week in advance. I and it's, yes. it's going to be working working that way to a certain extent. But yeah, the flex, I mean, just showing how flexible we all have to be as suppliers. I think, you know, the majority of suppliers are being incredibly flexible. Um, but it really is working from a kind of week to week basis. I mean, hopefully nearer the end of the year, over the summer, the end of the year, there will be a little bit more clarity with the roadmap, etc. Specifically in Scotland, I know that there's one a bit that's a bit clearer in England, but um, hopefully they'll, they'll be, all become a little bit clearer yeah. um, to us. And and you touched on it early, Jack, as well about safe about safety. You know about that being quite important to you because of the mix of guests you might have, mix of ages, etc. Um, yeah. And I think that's probably something we still need to you know, continue into the future as well. That was a big fear to start with because of my mum and dad in their 80s. Yep. However, they both have now had their injections and it does give you, it makes you do, you do feel a little bit more like, okay, not, they're not quite so vulnerable anymore. Yes. And, and we're, I've got we're friends as well who have, you know, who have had their, their injections now because they have other um, health matters. Yes. Which yes. was a worry because you don't yes. want to ever be could you imagine having a wedding and they came mm -hmm. to it and from our wedding oh, you know yeah. it's just and, and, and it's not just um i think you know we all have these thoughts um and i would think venues would feel very responsible if there was an outbreak as well so i think that that's something that yeah. um i think is really important for individual venues to to consider too um and I'm sure they, you know, they, I mean, I think they've worked very, very hard to be, we know that the hospitality, hospitality industry has worked very hard to be safe and is constantly working hard to be safe. But I think that's, it's something that we'd all be, all be thinking about definitely. And there's a lot of good research now coming out in regard to the efficacy of the vaccine and the first, even just having your first vaccine. So all, there's a lot of little kind of pathways that are hopefully coming together yeah. that are going to work for us. Here's a little bit. Felix, for the nearly wedding, had little gift bags for the family. And inside it was hand sanitizer. <laughs> so that might become the new, you know, what is it? Favour. The new favour. Hand sanitizer. Right. 
I think you're right. And the, Masks and hand sanitizers. Yeah, you can imagine as, as your guests come into the venue, there'll be a, a, a this area with, you know, lovely hand sanitizer and maybe some masks. Have you forgotten a mask? And I mean, it's just a whole, going to be a complete, a whole different, different world really, isn't it? But like you two, to a certain extent, I think you've really, you've embraced it and you've not let it define you as a couple no, no. or as individuals or as a couple. And I think that's really important to remember it's through through all of this. Um, so yeah, I think it's that's been a great chat. Yeah. Thanks very much. Is there anything else you want to add or? I was just gonna say, we are also lucky that we have you as our celebrant <laughs> who obviously is but is my family member and friend. So it's like, you know, it's like having a really good friend there for us as well. And it yeah. means a lot more. But you, you've got to remember, um, just before you finish off, you've got to remember there's not as many people that have been as strong as us. There's a lot of people that will affect them a lot more. And yes. they, won't be, they won't be coping it as such, coping with it as such as we are. Um, I'm a very strong sort of person as such. So I don't let things bother me. I just sort of head on and hit, hit whatever's you mm -hmm. know coming towards me. So you just got to remember, there's a lot of people that are just not as strong, and yeah. it might affect them more. So just bottom line, chin up. Yeah, and be just be kind. You know, I think. Yeah. I know, but I think that's um, another thing that's really important in regard to our roles as celebrants and our roles as. Um, you know, uh, suppliers too, is to, to a certain extent, you know, be available to talk things through. I think um, that can be a, a, a quite an important thing for couples where there's a lot of influences from families and friends, you know, about, oh, you should do this, oh, you should do that. And, and having someone kind of neutral to a certain extent, like your celebrant, to just talk things through especially yeah. in regard to um, maybe postponing, you know, um, and looking at all the safety issues, all the layers and nuances around it, all the possibilities, all the choices. I, you know, I think that's, that's yeah, really important. Um, because I yeah. think, yeah, it can be a little bit too much when you've got your families kind of yeah. um, putting a little bit pressure maybe and, oh, just go ahead and do it, just do it, or just cancel or just this. It can be really good to have someone um, to talk it through with. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's brilliant. Rona's saying, you guys are fab. <laughs> Your day will come soon. It will, Rona. It will, but but that's, thank wait. you, Rona, because you gave us a nice... Yeah, it was lovely. That yeah. Honestly, a lovely blessing. Yeah. Lovely. I would recommend it. And Not all of them. Actually, because you've been posting a lot recently, Andrea, I've had loads of people say, send me messages saying these photographs, that place looks that's, that's how I would do it. And, you know. That's so good. That's lovely to hear. Yeah. But it actually nice. opens up for people. See, I wouldn't know I wouldn't have known something like no. this. It's something really? that would never have come on my radar. So you yourself, Andrea, doing something like this and then giving the girls some exposure for people who just would never think of yes. doing something like yeah. that. Yeah. And hope, that's, hopefully you can no, get all the links of yeah, you know, who, who they are. And... We can add that on. Yeah. But I think that's what's important, even more so at this time, is choice. Yes. Is making sure that you as couples know all the options you've got, all yeah. the choices you've got. It's so important. Nobody, especially celebrants, no one wants to hear a couple say, Oh, we, we did this, we had this, but I wish we'd done this, or yeah. I wish we'd done that. You know, nobody wants to hear that. So it's really important to explore it all. Mm -hmm. um, and that's great what you've shared today. Freya saying fab advice from you all. So that's really good. Um, I think because some people didn't, I wouldn't mean, have known about it. You put us in the direction of it. I don't think people do know so much about it. And they just think, I know friends that were getting married abroad and, and then it can't happen yes, until next yes, year. Yes. And, yes. and they're saying, oh, we're just going to go to the, um, what's, where do you go? Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Which yes. is fine if that's what you want to of do. Course. But I, I don't know if everyone knows that there's other options that you could actually go to this beautiful location. That's that going to look. You get some yeah. beautiful photographs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could spend the day like yeah. you did. Um, 
you can do, you can elope. I mean, obviously in Scotland it's amazing you can get married yeah. anywhere as well. So you can you can stay local, like Greg talked about earlier. Yeah. You know, you can stay local, Portobello Beach. I'm yeah, yeah. desperate to do a ceremony on Portobello Beach. That would be so nice. <laughs> um, you know, there's, yeah, there's so many options. And as I say, it's really important that couples know, know what's available. Because I think in this situation, you can feel a bit hemmed in with your mm -hmm. choices. You can feel a bit boxed yeah, in. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, it's really interesting to to. I try to encourage couples to think about, okay, yeah, you know, you might, you could use that vet, you know, that's your venue, you've paid your deposit or whatever. Um, but how about on the day, if there's, if the advice or the restrictions don't allow you to get married indoors, ask the venue, is there a space outdoors that you could yeah. use? You know, think about, about that. They will be more than happy to... Yeah. To, to support you probably be outdoors or a smaller room if you're if you can use a room in the venue and um, it's not the big party room you'd planned but it's a small intimate yeah. room I bet your venues we really well, love you suggested us uh, saying this to Dr. Bells and you did go to them and they were instantly supportive of it right mm -hmm. and they just said yes. yeah well and we'll even make that day if like is that we can only have a very few amount there. And it goes back to what Andrew was saying, just communicate with who, yeah. you, who, who the venue is, who, who yeah. what contractors you're working yeah. with, just constantly keep up to date, tell them, because yeah. this is not happening. It, I, I basically give them two options, and they went with either and or either. So, mm -hmm. you know, you, you need to think about it, because, I mean, the, the venue or your contractors don't know what you want, so just communicate with these people and, and you'll get it right on the day and yes. don't worry don't get stressed about it just just go with it where everyone's in this situation at the moment yeah we're all learning as well yeah. we're all learning just now we're all learning about how can we navigate how how do we navigate this oh yeah we could do this you know and i think that's what's for for me it's really important um you know, connecting with other celebrants, connecting with other suppliers and being able to learn from how they're working, et cetera, as well. So. And everybody, there's lots of people have missed out, not just weddings, 21st, all the graduations. I'm afraid about my friend's poor dad not understanding the funeral situation That's for right. his wife. All, or all, couldn't yeah. grasp that they couldn't have sandwiches afterwards with his yeah. friends. You know, that's yeah. really sad. And yeah. this isn't sad. We will have our day. Yes, we know you that. Will. We, we, you know, you've got to have that mindset. Look, we know, we know we're going to get there regardless how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. We're going to get there. I mean, we've no choice now. We've got a house together. so. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had lovely things in between as well yeah. to pass it. The... And then, but that's what I'm doing, was, saying before you have, to, you have to do something in between. Don't let it get you down. You have, yeah. you have to make this negative a positive. Yes, I think so. That's the, that's the way. And it, I like. I thought my idea of getting a couple of motorbikes and then just yes. disappearing off up to the highlands. Me, on, you know, a photographer with a motorbike you on the back of that me on the back, and on the back you the on the... <laughs> that's the way i <laughs> it would be great the only thing for us is the kids they have oh, to be there they put no, so I'm, much effort just, and okay. Greg... i know that's so, that's so important and that, that is great yeah. though. that's that's where that's you know, the thing that we because these little granddaughters have got their bridesmaids and their yes. flower girls dresses and they're Which looking won't forward. Fit now. And they're looking forward to it. So just imagine how much fun we will have. I know. When it happens. And because we are lucky that if for our immediate family, although it's smaller than what we were going to originally have, we don't have a small family between us. Mm. So yes. it's going to be if we're allowed then it'll be fun. Even just with family. It's still big enough. <laughs> Eleven kids between us, it's going to be a big party. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Right, I'm going to let you go because we've chatted and you've been fantastic. Thanks so much. Thanks for Thank you. Us. It's really good to chat this through. And it's just, it's lovely to see you. And I really hope I'm going to see you both in real life. I know, I know. I think <laughs> mid-March mid we can move up to four people from two households. Fingers crossed. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Lots of love. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. And Bye. thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Bye.